Welcome back to Let's Play Dishonored. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time... Last time I was betrayed by the Loyalists. Set adrift in the Flooded District, and captured by Dowd's assassins. So yeah, things aren't going great for me. Full disclosure, uh, I loaded the game when I was in the uh, cell, because I wanted to handle these uh, assassins up here better. I managed to take them both out in the same uh, bend time uh, session, I guess you could call it. Oh, and I noticed when I was shoving their bodies up here for safekeeping that I missed a couple of things of copper wire, so I guess there's that. Now, uh, two shoutouts to make before we get on with trying to get back to my gear. Firstly, uh, I'd like to thank Flutter Sniper 13 for pointing out that uh, I missed a note uh, when I was uh, making my way out the first time. And that note went a little something like this. Letter to Overseer Franklin. Overseer Franklin, wasn't it? When we speak next, I hope you will tell me two things. First, what do the strictures tell you about being imprisoned in a cell you could easily escape, were your legs not shattered? Secondly, how your kind knew the location of our base, and what exactly you hope to accomplish there by marching a hopelessly outnumbered band of fools through chest-high water. Dowd. Okay. Secondly, I'd like to thank Volpathrope for his uh, urging suggestion that when I have to deal with Dowd, instead of just hitting him with a sleep dart from a distance or strangling him or just avoiding him altogether, I should face him man to man with a sword. Because apparently there's still a, uh... What's it called? There's still a non-lethal option in there somewhere. And something about important stuff of the lore being in that fight? I don't know. I don't understand. I have to admit, I'm... a bit nervous about that idea due to the fact that he's... Well, he's basically me, but if I'd taken the High Chaos path. You know, legendarily skilled assassin with supernatural outsider powers. But, uh... And meanwhile, I've never used my sword for anything except, uh, breaking boards and killing rats. Thanks to my no-murders policy. But, uh, we shall see how that plays out. It, no, let's not do that. I would just hurt myself if I fell that far. Well, there were some fish eggs downstairs, but I'd probably hurt myself more trying to get to them than I would by eating them. Whatever. Oh yes, and there was one other thing. One very, very important thing. Uh... As you're all aware... Uh... Well, probably not aware, but as, uh, as I suspected... Good lord, look how big that one is. There's, uh, there was a gl indeed a glitch when I was taking out the Lord Regent. It was totally supposed to play the audio from his, uh, confession there, you know, as makes sense. And, uh, it just didn't. I didn't really- why aren't the fish moving? Ugh, ugly little fuckers, aren't they? Yeah, I don't know why it didn't. I didn't, like, look into it to see if anyone else has ever had that problem, but, uh, it didn't. But fortunately, I was able 
to obtain the actual sound file that's supposed to play when you uh, play that recording. I'm going to pause this here to uh, minimize the uh, noise being played over it. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Lord Regent Hiram Burroughs' Confession. If I explain, then you will see I am not at fault. My poverty eradication plan was meant to bring prosperity to the city, to rid us of those scoundrels who waste their days in filth and drink without homes or occupations other than to beg for the coin for which the rest of us toil. And it was a simple plan. Bring the disease-bearing rats from the Pandician continent and let them take care of the poor for us. The plan worked perfectly at first. But the rats, oh, it was as if they sought to undo me. They hid from the catchers and bred at sickening rate. Soon it didn't matter. Rich, poor, all were falling sick. And then people began to ask questions. The Empress assigned me to investigate whether the rats had been imported by a foreign power. I knew the truth would come out eventually, so there was no other way than to be rid of her and take power myself. She had to die, you see. She had to die. Bringing about the death of an empress is not an easy thing. But it gave me the chance to attack the plague with some real authority. Quarantines, deportation of the sick. But there's always some idiot woman searching for her wretched lost babe or some sniveling workman searching for his missing wife. And then quarantine is broken. But you can see how my plan should have worked. Would have worked. If everyone had just followed orders. Well. And just for funsies. What are you doing? I order you to put down your weapons. This is treason. It's over, Hiram. Your head will roll for what you've done. No! I'll make you rich man if you just let me go. I beg you. You nearly destroyed this city. No amount of money will undo that. Get him ready for the walk to Coldridge Prison. Yes, sir. There. Now that has, uh... A lot more uh, emotional significance. Awesome. Yeah, that guy's a real dirtbag, and I'm glad he's out of power. There was just one thing I got wrong in my uh, expectations, my predictions. I thought that uh, Burroughs would have a cure for the plague. But no, he'd never intended for rich people to get infected at all. He thought he could contain the rats. Whoa! Oh, right. Okay, again, I guess the model has to come from somewhere. Or a fish statuette. Yoink! And just in case this doesn't go anywhere good, I don't want to waste the mana. No, let's not do that. You! Fuck, where am I? Well, I have no idea what I accomplished with that, so... 
Let's see if we can find another way in there. And if we can't, maybe we'll come back. Am I looking there already? Yes, I did. There were coins. How did I get up there? This is the same place I just was. Okay, awesome. I'm trying to be in the tree. So you know what, let's jump cut back to where we were over there with the weepers. Boosh. This building appears to be lousy with dead, uh, overseers. No broken windows, I can see. Guess I just have to be a rat. Okay. I'll just go around the giant chimney then. Screw you. I like how I accidentally hit the, uh, the buton for the sleep darts. It brings up an empty circle. Hmm, I'm gonna want to go over there soon, but... Do I have to start over there? I don't know. I'm very hesitant with my extremely limited resources. I don't think he enjoyed that. Oh. I'll start in this building. Plague resistant. Weepers inflict slightly less damage. Tell you what, sentimental value or not, let's turn this off and put this on. Since this place does seem to be crazy with leapers, uh, weepers, sorry. Nope, didn't restart the timer. Donovan's Journal. Excerpt from a worn journal. Everyone was looking for someone to blame for what happened, as the waters rose day by day, and one by one the business owners had to give up their shops to ankle-high muck and river crusts started growing as far back as Thresh Street. Truth is, it wasn't some plot to wipe the ever-prosperous Rudd Shore off Dunwall's maps. It was laziness and stupidity. The barriers keeping the rising water, uh, river waters out hadn't been maintained in at least a decade, and once one leak started, the whole thing gave out. The city was so tied up fighting the plague, no one lifted a finger to salvage the place. It's been a year now, and living in a place the region's forgotten about has its perks.
Okay. So the rats don't attack the uh, weepers because of their advanced state of uh, infection. Why the hell don't the river crests attack the weepers? There's a painting in there. Come on, just turn around. Nobody I know. The commutative rats and the weeper. Communi commu commutative? Commutative. Oh, what the hell? I'm guessing Sokolov painted that in between torturous experiments. Oh, no faucet there. Stuff's uh, not in this shitty little shack. Oh, okay. What horrible little shits they are. Letter to Heather. Dear Heather, hasn't Harold gone on and on to you about this treasure he's got hidden away? I thought he'd talk my ear off. He claims that it proves that he's got imperial heritage, but if you ask me, it just means that our wonderful rulers are buying favors from anyone these days. It's a scandal, that's what it is. Anyway, you should go and see him. When he goes to show you the statue, he's going to ask you to guess his safe code. Goodness, he's such a bore. So give him a sly wink and tell him it's 428. I only wish I could be there to see the look on his face and you get it right. You know he fancies you and he's got money. He may be small and dreary in conversation, no fun at all at dinner parties, if you ask me, but he's got money. He has an apartment down by the Chamber of Commerce. Dreadful little hole. Only door is in through the back courtyard, and it's smaller than my loft over by the waterfront. But anyone who can afford a place of any size in that part of town has to be doing well for himself. Amelia. Wait, it's not in the flooded district? Well, I guess I'll just put it out of my mind for now. You know, I think River Cross would be slightly easier to put up with for me if it didn't sound like the fucking Predator. This place is lousy with infected mans, and I would feel a lot better. If they weren't, uh... If I weren't constantly worrying about something skinning me and taking my skull. Oh, fuck, there's a ton of rats down there. And again, I don't know how... what makes them turn into a swarm. I can try leaving on top of that thing, I guess. You are no longer conscious. Embrace your new unconscious lifestyle. That'll do. Whale blood down there.
Okay, this is going pretty well so far. I remember you. You're the one I tried to put on top of that thing and who fell and broke his neck. Oh, missed. Let's not leave you on the ground with all these ratty rat rats. Let's put you over there. I just need to borrow your friend. Eh, they don't care. And was dressed like a guardsman. Good lord, it's a good thing there's a uh, handy dumpster here. Huh, landing is uh, still noisy when you're not crouched. He's nothing. Oh, he's a weeper. Yep. Yes, that is a guardsman's uniform. I thought for a moment it might have been. Uh... I was told there was a. I'm not sure if that's the guy, or if there was another one on an overseer uniform. A commenter believed he might be the, uh, high overseer. But you will recall that, uh, Campbell wore a bright red uniform that made him look different from the other, uh, overseers. And if he didn't, well, I just told you. Whoa. Wanted for the murders of various individuals of note, as well as crimes of heresy, Dowd, enemy of the city of Dunwall. Change sure. Reward of 5,000 coins for capture or death. The offenses of this man are high crimes under the strictures of the High Overseer, the municipal laws of the City Watch of Dunwall, and the edicts of our brave Lord Regent in these times of peril. You know, I was about to suggest that, uh... They, that poster predated the uh, Empress's death because clearly no one gives a shit of the flooded district in uh, this particular time. And why would they bother putting up wanted posters? Damn! Hello? I never did find the one who spotted me. You know, I really like the piano sting that when you, someone sees you. For some reason it just feels classier than when, uh... You know, than for example, the famous, uh... exclamation mark noise, for lack of a better term, from Metal Gear Solid. Now, I know there's another Weeper around. Oh, let's not jump down there. Oh, Jesus. Fuck you. Uh... Oh, hey, that guy is fucked. Oh god. That's interesting. It looks like they can only they can't turn. They have a pretty wide radius of fire for, for what's in front of them. Okay, how am I doing? Uh one grenade, useless. One bullet, useless. Two uh Piero remedies and three Sokolov potions. Things aren't great, but they've been worse. 
I, yeah, yeah, okay, the prison was technically worse than this. So I didn't even have my supernatural powers. That sounds like such a strange thing to say. Uh, until next time, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Dishonored. When I try and get my stuff back from that door over there. Later!